What is happening, y'all? It's your boy Q Monster here, back at it once again. So I had been seeing this picture of uh, Jared Leto, you know, the new Joker's look. And I must say, which I'm about to pull up right now, he, man, he, he looks a lot more darker than, you know, than the goofy side of him in the Suicide Squad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When he was all tied up. I mean, I see there's no tattoos and everything, but I see the scars on his face, you know what I'm saying? You want to know how I got these scars? You know? But he kind of reminds me of, like, you know, like uh, the Sinister, the Crow, and Joaquin Phoenix, and uh, Heath Ledger, all put together, all put together. That's, that's who he kind of reminds me of, though, but, uh, man... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to waste any more time, but I'm gonna, I got like some other videos I got to react to, though. But I'm going to go ahead and read this article. Like I said, I've been, I mean, I, I had some notification going. I mean, I had some notifications coming in from comic book news. So I thought I'd go ahead and just, you know, do a little quick little video for this. And let's go ahead and just talk about it. Because, man, we're going to see what he's going to do. So let's go. I'm going to go ahead and pull this up. I'm going to read about this. Have a first look at Jared Leto as a Joker in the upcoming release of, Zack, of the Zack Snyder Justice League movie coming to HBO Max. We see the look of Joker indeed, road worry, just like Zack Snyder described in an early interview. <laughs> Man. Jared Leto's Joker sports long hair, which he can guess might be color green, and we also see Joker's is minus the tattoos from the Suicide Squad. Yeah, it's a good thing he, you know, he removed the tattoos. You know what I'm saying? Cause I wasn't really feeling the tattoo. I'm like, you know, that's, that's not the Joker I grew up with. You know what I'm saying? He, he ain't got no damn tattoos. I mean, he was a gangster though, but hey, he ain't had no tattoos. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, dang it, my damn phone. <laughs> um, moved for some reason and is worried. A, a, I mean is wearing a hospital uh, gown and surgical mask. A new interview with Zack Snyder at Vanity, I mean Vanity Fair reveals the I mean, reveals the Leto Joker, I mean Leto Joker was not originally a part of Zack, I mean of Snyder's Justice League and that Zack had plans to eventually have Joker meet the Ben Affleck Batman later down the road, but since that is not going to happen. Zack decided to film additionally scenes with Leto and add Joker to Justice League. All right. The Joker is really the only thing that I thought of in retrospect, Snyder said. But I will say that it was always my intention to bring Joker into the world. I mean, into that world. The interview at Variety also spoils the Joker scene in Justice League, so be careful if you do not want to know anything as Snyder reveals the Joker scene involves Batman and Robin. Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna know about that yet. Um I'm guessing these are all spoils that I may be reading about on uh uh Yeah. I think that could be all spoils, I mean Okay, the scene explains why Bruce had the Joker card tapped to his gun that you see in Batman v Superman, explains Snyder. I could always wanted to explore the death of Robin and if there ever was going to be next movie, which of course there probably won't be. I want to do a thing where in flashbacks we learn how Robin how Robin died, how Joker killed him and burned down Wayne Manor. And that whole thing that happened between he and Bruce. Hmm. Okay, I'm just, I don't know. That, from what I just read, I mean, that could be spoils. I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, Snyder says the plan was to show how they become like this how he hurt him in a way that no one has really 
other than losing his parents, it was probably the most significant, significant personal injury to his life. A recent interview also saw Leto praise Zach. I think the core of his passion, so the reason Zach is doing what he's doing now is because of the passion of the fans, said Leto. When there is passion, sometimes you have a little complex. Sometimes things can be polarizing, but I love the passion. And I, and I think the world of Zach, I think he is just an incredible filmmaker. And I'm so happy that he gets the chance to tell the story in the way that he wants to tell it. There is more time to tell it, and think, and I think that is great, and I just think the world is of him and what he's doing. All right. Zack Snyder Justice League gets released on March 18th on HBO Max. Okay, next month, March 18th, y'all. Mark down your calendars. All righty. Well, Leto. I'm like I said. I'm already about to give you this one last chance, man, to uh, you know uh, surprise me. You know, saying how you betrayed your Joker this time because I did not like the Joker. You know, I did not like the Joker that you had. You know, back in Suicide Squad because that was just that was just too much. You know, especially with the tattoos and everything. Plus, there ain't gonna be no tattoos. I mean, he just got scars on his face, so I can. Mm -hmm. I can I can agree to that. All right, cool. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you a chance, man. It's my lap. I'm gonna give you another chance, man. I hope you can um impress me somehow. You know what I'm saying? When I see you, you know, when I see you uh portraying this character again, so I'm gonna see what he got. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, I mean, hey, Heath Ledger and Joaquin Phoenix, they are still, you know. The ones out there, I mean, those two is the one I like the most, especially Heath Ledger. I mean, Heath Ledger, he's still the top dog. I mean, rest in peace to him, but like I said, he's still the top dog in my eyes. And Joaquin Phoenix is just right behind him. You know, I really, I really do want Joaquin Phoenix to come back as Joker. I really do. I mean, I know y'all do too. I mean, make sure you post your comments down below. Let me know what y'all think, man. You know, if you if you want Joaquin Phoenix back, or you are you willing to give? You know, let or no chance. Please let me know in the comments below. And um, if you enjoy my news to this, make sure you hit that like button and always subscribe it and share it. And I'm going to catch you guys later. Deuces.